So I look after clubs and societies. Uh, I look after volunteering at the union uh, and any way that people can get involved with the union. I'm looking after that as well as sustainability aspects of our activities. So my main fear, I think, when I first put my name down for it was uh, just public speaking and, and putting myself out there for, for the actual campaign. It, it just seemed to come naturally. I think I felt like uh, you know, I, I wanted the position quite a lot, so it just felt like a natural thing to do and it, it, I got used to it after a scary first couple of days. I think University Strathclyde particularly has changed my life and that's mostly due to stuff that I've done with the union, either in clubs and societies, sports teams, uh, or volunteering, for example, with the welcome team. So I just really wanted to get involved um, and give back a bit. So I was brought up in quite a strict religious household and we didn't celebrate Christmas for most of my life, uh, which I think is why I enjoy it so much now. I haven't got tired of Christmas yet and I still enjoy Christmas songs way too early and a good Christmas jumper. Often it's through Facebook messages or Instagram messages or otherwise through groups that I'm in contact with, like clubs, action groups, things like that. I think one of the main ones, uh, which all of us as an exec have, have heard about, have heard from students, is to do with the blended learning. Students just not feeling comfortable with the idea of having to come on campus for, for doing coursework, for lectures, for tutorials, when it, when it wasn't strictly necessary for them to be there. After our, our efforts, the university yielded on its messaging about, about blended learning, specifying that courses uh, are online only unless absolutely necessary. Um, whether that continues into next semester, we'll see and we'll keep talking to students about what they want. Uh, and as a team, we'll keep up the pressure on the university to learn its lessons from uh, the last semester. We took the issue to a lot of committees and, and meetings. Uh, there were groups that were set up for uh, coordinating the university's return, uh, return to learning initially and, and just the response to coronavirus. There was also various meetings with uni management uh, as well as a big grassroots, grassroots campaign that we ran uh, which was uh, called We Stand With Students which just got a lot of people involved and, and showed the university that it was a whole bunch of students that uh, felt that the model of blended learning wasn't wasn't what they wanted or what they needed. Just that people feel that we're here for them to, to get their issues solved and uh, stand behind them uh, to make sure that their time at uni is as good as possible.